Hi there, everybody. My name is Kevin, and welcome to Operation Taking Back the Dad Bod. While that could mean a lot of things, for me, a lot of it has to do with getting in better shape. Who doesn't want that, right? Now, I find myself as a late 30s, gonna be 40-year-old parent, and my body doesn't feel good, and I really need to change that. So one part of this is absolutely losing some weight, getting some mobility back, getting more active, eating better, etc., etc., etc. But there is more. Personally, I'm looking at this as kind of a complete reset for myself. I've fallen into some ruts, I kind of go through the motions, and I want more for myself, I want more for my kids, so here's how we're going to do that. For me, I think I'm going to focus on kind of two main pillars of the changes I want to make. The broad categories we're going to use are health and growth. Now, there's a lot of ways to go about this. This is the way I think is going to work for me. And maybe you want to follow along and something works for you. But if it doesn't, you can throw it out and try something else. Now, what do I mean by health? Well, let's talk about it. We're going to do physical health, mental health, and social health. On the growth pillar, we have creative, professional, and personal. Now, I'll do a video later kind of going into each one of those in a little bit more detail, uh, but that's where we're going to start. We've got growth and we've got health. Now, I'm not coming at this as an expert in any one of these fields. I'm coming at this from somebody who's tried some things, who's fallen off the bandwagon, who's lost motivation, and is trying to find a way that's going to ultimately work for me in getting to some goals that I've had for a long time. If you've ever gone through this exercise before, you have to start with a why. What is your why? What is your big why? Here's mine. For me, this boils down to being there for my kids, being a good example for them, not saying no when they want to go outside and play. And, you know, if I can really build some good habits and fix some things that need fixing, I can do that for their kids too. That is a little premature. They are five and 10, but... As I've talked with my 10 year old, he's got nine years to kind of explore and be a kid still. And then it's life, right? So my goal is to be the best example for him that I can be, be present, which is something I think a lot of us struggle with. So I'm going to be working on that as well. And I just really want to make sure that I'm the best me so they can see that in their father. So March is our starting point. And, uh, Probably because I had a little bit of a wake-up call about a week and a half ago. We can talk about that in another video. Uh, but we're going to start with some little steps, hopefully, uh, with some health, and we'll build from there. So we'll start with three things that are simple, but simple does not mean easy, right? So here we go. Number one, we're sober this month. If you've got some vices, hopefully you can avoid them. I don't party anymore, so St. Patrick's Day, it's fun, but I don't go out for it. Uh, but still, you know, you find yourself having a beer or two or three at home. I'm going to cut that out, right? So that's going to be something I'm going to cut out for myself. Number two, we're going to be active every day during the workday. We're not going to post wait for after. We're not going to try and squeeze it in before. We're going to make sure that every two hours we get up and we're mobile. We're moving jumping jacks, kettlebell swings, some mobility stuff, those kind of things just to get the blood pumping and get up and move more often because that's going to help in the long run. And then number three is we are going to go on a walk or a run every other day. For me, it's going to be 30 minutes. Maybe you can do 10, maybe you do 10 every day, maybe you do 15, whatever works for you. But that's the three things that I'm going to use to try and give myself a kickstart on my way to living better and trying to get a little bit more healthy. One thing I'm going to do in the next couple days and upload so you can also follow along if you want. Again, take and use what you want, throw stuff away, find something that works for you. But we're going to take some baseline measurements. I'm going to do some tape, body taping. So we're going to take some measurements on the body, obviously our body weight. Uh, I'm going to do some physical fitness baseline testing as well. Once upon a time, I was in the Air Force. It was a long time ago. Mm, again, more stories later. However, the Air Force fitness test is a pretty good baseline, even for general public. Notably, the Air Force test is easier than like the Army test or the Marine test. And that's fine, especially for me and you, uh, dad bod to dad bod or mom bod or whoever you are watching, uh, because all we have to focus on are a push-up test, a sit-up test, and a mile and a half run. With this set of baseline information, that can be our measuring point. That's where we can start with our physical health. Where are we now? 
Where are we going to be at 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, and whatever our further goals are. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you very much. Uh, if you want to continue following along, hit that follow button. You're going to see a video every couple days. Uh, also, the other social medias, I'll be posting stuff under the same handle, Polygeekism, easy to find. And I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you.